Hello and welcome to a very special episode of Drawing with Clifford, where I'll be using a multicolour pen to draw a skull using refinement techniques. Now, this is one of my most favourite lessons. I, I created this years and years ago in my training, where I had to create a lesson in four minutes, and I found one of these pens and I realised, cool, this would be really good for identifying different refinement techniques in drawing. So what we're going to do, we're going to pick three of these colours and we'll do green for basic shape, red for refining that shape, and that means I'm going to draw it out first, really loose in the green, fix those shapes with red, and I'm going to use my black, I'm going to, ah, I'm going to use my black, ah, it always runs out! Uh, we're going to use a, the black pen, a separate black pen, because it's run out to record my tone, so that allows me to fix everything at the end. So I'm going to have to use two pens, because someone's used up all my black and blue. Anyway, so first thing first, look at the picture and just go absolute, just draw any shape that you can identify with the green. If, if it goes wrong, it goes wrong. The great thing about using a pen is that you're going to see every mistake I make and I can't, I can't use a rubber, I can't use any of my fancy blending techniques to kind of hide any mistakes. I have to embrace them and that's what this is all about, embracing my mistakes and fixing them whilst also remembering what mistakes I've made. So, I broke it down to two shapes, a circle shape at the top, a rectangle at the bottom, and I'm now just identifying the nose and the eye hole. Just so any main parts that really stand out to me, just to get them on there so I can work at what I need to refine later. So, get some... Now, what you don't know is I'm timing myself doing this. So I'm trying to give myself um, three minutes of colour, so three minutes of green, three minutes of red, and I'm going to give myself maybe five minutes of black. Um, you're probably going to check my time after this, I've probably got it wrong. Uh, as a reminder, I record, over the, I record the voice over this, so I can't really remember how much time I gave myself. But I've given myself quite a strict time limit, so I'm trying to draw this quite fast. So, just I've realised I've made a bit of a mistake around here, I'm going to get these creases on. And that, that's done, that'll do. That's my time up. I'm going to change it to red, and my, my job now is to pick out anything I've missed, start time now, and you know, anything that's worked, just refine it, go over it. If you move it to a little bit to the left, I have to. And the really cool te thing about this technique is that, because I can't hide or eradicate any of the green or red, um, I mean, it doesn't stand out as much as the previous color. So the red stands out more than the green, but it's still there, it's still noticeable, but it's showing me what mistakes I've made and what I would normally do to fix it. So it's kind of like I'm creating an X-ray of my own drawing. Um, and then you can see I've made a few little mistakes around the chin. This is this is normally just stuff I normally go over and fix. It's just quite reflective. I mean, I've made this whole skull. I think I need to make it a bit wider, so I've just completely changed the shape. Now, I could hide all this with tone, which I might do a bit later. I just want to get all these little creases in when I can. The more of, more red I get in, the easier it's going to be when I get move on to the black. So I think my time's a little bit running right now. Let's just get as much as I can. And I'm done. That's my time up. So, I'm going to use the black pen, actually, just to get this crease in, I hate you later. But I'm just going to use my black pen to get this dark tone. I always start from the lines you've drawn before. Now, I'm building these up using quite squiggles. I'm going to, I've also given myself a bit more time with this part. So, um, you know, tone is very important. It's actually what we mainly see when we see our objects. It's not about shape. Um, so, I'm just going to build that bit by bit. So, I've got a bit... If I want a really dark tone, I put all my lines really close together. If I want to make it lighter, I spread them out. Now I'm just getting all my dark tones on first, just so I know where they go. So that I can slowly blend them out later. Now you might be thinking he sped this up a bit. I've only sped it up just slightly. My hand is moving really fast during this drawing. Um, so I'm just going to get a tone back on there. It up a bit of it, so it slowly gets a bit lighter, and you can't see from the picture because I okay, it's obviously being recorded. There's a um, this part here is a bit lighter in person, but I'm gonna have to un, I'm gonna have to over exaggerate some of the light tone just to kind of make up for the amount of black pen I don't want to use. So I'm just really focusing on the dark parts because I don't know when my time's gonna run out. So I'm just building up bit by bit, getting more creases on, might miss. And I say, if you miss, if you realize you made a mistake, keep fixing it. Don't ever commit to a mistake. If you can fix it, fix it. I'm embracing them, but it doesn't mean I've just got to accept it what they are. I'm gonna change it. So it's gonna get its dark tone down here. 
can probably tell my hand is really starting to hurt right now. I'm trying to do this so fast. Dark turn on there. I'm still fixing this shape. I'm still fixing the shape of the head. That's the whole point of this. I've not used the grid. I've not uh, measured anything up. I've, I'm just drawing just completely freehand and showing you how the refinement process works. It's the best way to describe it. It's like sculpting with a pen. If I was to do this in pencil, you wouldn't see any of these original lines. Everything will kind of blend in nicely and look a lot more sustained. But that's not what I want. I want something exciting. I want something a bit more energetic. And that's what this drawing is. I love the neon colours. I love the red and green shining through the dark tone. It just gives it like a little bit more of an identity. So we'll put some more dark tone here. A little dark crease in there a bit more. Got some traps um, trap shadows underneath the creases. Let's just kind of like smooth out this top of the head. Now, originally, I said I would embrace these lines, but you know, it's got a bit of dark tone up there, so let's put it on. Now, this, this is just really fun. So, uh, no, no, that's all. One thing I'm going to do, I've got a little bit of time, I'm actually going to use a little bit of red and green because I actually want, I actually kind of like the red and green shining through, so I feel I just a little bit about that. Just got a few more seconds left. And get that red on. Just quickly get this green. Can I do it? Can I do it? Can I do it? And I'm done. Time up. So, uh, no one saw that. <laughs> I just have to get these in. It doesn't hurt. So, that's done. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to make it look a bit more funky. I'll put a few more patterns around. So, whilst I'm doing this, I say I'm. When I do this in lesson, it's a lot more fun. So every student is sitting there really quietly, trying to draw as much as you can. You can, hear the you, can hear the, you can actually hear the pens scratching into the page as fast as they can, get as much as they can, and the outcomes are always brilliant. Never sustained, but exciting, energetic, and it's when we call out and say change colour. So I'm happy with this. I'm really proud of what I've created. All right, a little bit of dark tone, never hurts. Um, yeah, and yeah. Nice fun drawing under a couple of minutes, and this is what it looked like if I just did it in pencil. So, um, yeah, I'm really proud of it, and I hope you enjoyed it too. I'll see you later. Bye.